Hiram here. Yesterday I did a fancy feast stove test, a boil test, with this stove that I made out of a fancy feast cat food. Actually, I don't think it was a fancy feast, but it was a cat food can, a piece of carbon felt, and another can that was cut off to give me one inch from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. Anyway, I did a test on that using my Boy Scout type pot. And I got a request from James May, where James asked, Hiram, could you test the stove? Could you test the stove if it works with a 10 centimeter pot? Now, the only thing that I have close to 10 centimeters is this Vargo titanium pot that I have. It's a uh, 750 milliliter, which the diameter of this is 9.5 centimeters. So that's about as close as I can get. So what I'm going to do today is a quick test with that. I'll get two cups of water prepped for 60 degrees, put one fluid ounce of methanol in here, and we'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. It's at 60 degrees. Let's light this. Now, like I said in my other video, I'll leave a link to it down below. I like the wick stoves, especially in a winter, which is what this was made for. Okay, let me put this on. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees. Uh, like I was saying, I made this for a snow melter for the winter, and I like wick stoves for that because they're just not affected by the cold temperatures. So let's see where this goes. Okay, we're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Not as fast as yesterday, but keep in mind this is a titanium pot versus a uh, aluminum pot like the other one was. But I think you can see it's a nice flame on there, nice blue. Uh, I did get a comment from Mato Nupai. I hope that's how you say it. Uh, she said that she thinks that I have this way too high and suggests that I pull it down. So I'm working on another. Uh, another copy of this stove so that I can try that in a later test. But uh, let's see where it goes from here. Here we have 210, 211, 212, and 546. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 5 minutes 46 seconds. And yesterday's test with the aluminum pot it was 5 minutes 13 so let's see how long it takes for run out the flames on the wick are just about burned out the flames that you see here is the opening that I have in the uh, carbon felt that I thought I might use for a refilling station refilling slot it's still burning from there and coming out that vent hole that I put in but as far as the wick it's all done Let's see when the, the water temperature drops. Okay, flame still going. Ah, went out at 9.50 or 8.57, let's say. Okay, let's see what happens when I. Yep, still a little bit of vapors inside. I don't know. Maybe you can see that flame. It was out in the wick, out in the slot, but it's still burning in there. Not much different. Now remember, this is titanium, not aluminum, so your boil time is always going to be different right from that. But two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 46 seconds and then ran out in uh, 8 minutes 57. Yesterday's test, it ran out at 9 minutes. So as far as I'm concerned, that's the same time. So I hope this helps. Uh, James May. By the way, you're not any relationship to the James May on Top Gear on the BBC channel. Just wondered. But anyway, I hope this helps you, James. <laughs> Excuse me, James. This works nice. The stove would fit inside the pot the whole bit, so it, it's a nice little arrangement. Again, I did this. Uh, I needed a burner which had a large fuel capacity in it to, do, to uh, melt snow and ice. I didn't get to do that last year because here in Pennsylvania we didn't get much snow, just once or twice, and both times I couldn't get out. Hopefully this year I'll get to play with it. But again, I thank uh, James May for his comment. 
I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.